Ricky Pereira joins us on What's Next. And Ricky Pereira is the Enterprise Manager at Pinnacle. Uh, Ricky, good day to you and thank you for joining us on What's Next. Um, it's interesting to see the, the transformation that's taking place because of COVID-19, this massive digital transformation. Our Pinnacle have uh, a long established history of uh, you know many consumer products that they have got out and, uh, and a strong focus on enterprise solutions. Um, Tell me about the latest enterprise solutions at Pinnacle. Where are you guys going? I know you've got lots of strong relationships in the cloud. There's Dell there. There's uh, quite a depth and rich history of enterprise solutions at Pinnacle. Yeah. Um, so, yes, uh, uh, thank you for, for welcoming me, Aki. Um, yeah, well, as you mentioned, um, Pinnacle is very well known for their consumer products uh, and um, and we drive, and um, we one of our main drives is to add value to our, to our customers. Uh, and one way we're adding value is with our Pinnacle Enterprise Solutions uh, team, uh, which our form a part of. Um, we're here to help our customers with any solutions that they might need or any assistance. Basically, from a multi-site, always on uh, data center for a large enterprise, all the way through to a small business who needs uh, basically a, to keep a company you know, operation to keep their company operational. So we're there to assist with any solutions that they're, that they're, that they're looking for. Um, one of the other things that we actually do is we also look at our, a, a, a cross-platform approach. So if there's a single product that doesn't tick all the boxes, we will then start looking around within our, within our, our stack to find the product and make sure that we tick all the boxes. Um, and, and then we also... You know, we also got specific uh, within the teams. We've also got specific specific specialists with, with to, to assist with pre-sale skills and technical advice. Um, where you know, like myself, my primary focus is on Dell Technologies as that within their product uh, product sets. Um, and then with uh, with myself and my my colleagues, we'll be able to assist them with any any products or any solutions that they they, they might require from Dell Technologies. And um, yeah, and we, we for the need to request myself and my team are the go-to people. So, so Ricky, as a small uh, business owner or a medium enterprise, I can come to you and say, Ricky, uh, talk to me about storage, talk to me about server solutions. I mean, you, you can do all of that, right? Correct, yes. So we, get, we basically do all, uh, look at all the product sets and all the requirements that customer needs. If it is a single server that they require all the way through to if they really start needing some, you know, if they, 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 they're into this digital age and they need something that's very storage heavy, we are able to assist them. Um, we also assist them with networking as well. So if they need to put some, something together to, you know, as a, a, small, as a small school uh, the network that they need, 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 need some form of requirements. Yeah, be able to assist access that they're looking. Oh, that's excellent. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, the demands must have been there, and I imagine that the the global pandemic has accelerated demand for these enterprise solutions. You guys have been going on it for a while, but have you seen an increased demand? Well, to 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 be completely honest, and from my perspective, uh, enterprise hasn't had the same sort of windfall as client products um, through this pandemic. Uh, but what we see is companies had to sudden had to to basically move some of their budgets around in order to to facilitate this this quick change and to get their workforce to work to be able to work from home, mm. um, and it changed their focus from moving from you know just a basically from infrastructure to connectivity and access to their data, yeah. which has suddenly become a big focus. Um, and a few companies had sort of had to 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 relook at their digital transformation journey, and. Meanwhile, at the same time, accelerating their the transformation into, in, into the requirements. So the enterprise stack, as from a, 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 from a single server type scenario, they've, they, they've changed the idea of just replacing infrastructure. They've had to relook at how they do business. Um, and one of, our, one of the things that we can do at Pinnacle is to assist them to, hey, guys, this is, this is, where, we, this is where we need to start from your journey. And... Um, you know, uh, that, that's sort of where we're try, trying to assist. I guess, Ricky, that uh, you guys at Pinnacle have also had to adapt uh, to the changes that are happening around you, right? No, 100%. So we as a company also, you know, uh, when the lockdown happened, everyone basically had to go, 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 go work from home and keep the, the, the company operational. So, yes, we've, we've experienced the exact same thing as anyone else. Um, and lucky enough that we, you know, we've 
put in some technologies and we put in some solutions that, that may, make things easier. Uh, you know, we changed our ERP system re just recently. Uh, and, and, you know, one of the things that we needed to do is also drive this, uh, you know, still keep communicating with our customers. So yeah. a lot of Zoom sessions, a lot of Zoom uh, 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 teams. So we basically embraced both those, uh, both those technologies in order to be able to still communicate with our customers in an, in an effective way. Um, so, yes, we've, we've, we've experienced it. I believe a lot of customers have had to do the same thing yeah. uh, and uh, keep, you know, keep going um, and carry on working as, as we, as we, as we require. Um, well, but yeah, so, yeah, so, so yeah, the same sort of boat. Ricky, I mean, you, earlier you touched on the, uh, you know, the data and how important data is, uh, data storage, uh, um, you know, data protection. I mean, all of these things, it's like top of mind awareness for most organizations. And when you look at the Papier Act that's coming into play very, very soon in the next few weeks, in fact, I mean, it's going to become increasingly important to look after your data, store your data properly, protect that data. What's your advice um, for, for people who are looking at these kinds of solutions? Um, and, you know, what are the important factors that people should be considering when it comes to data storage and data protection in particular? Well, the, the, the first thing when you're looking at data storage, it's the, you, need to, you need, first you need somewhere to actually store the data. Um, and, you know, being the, the, the Dell Technology Specialist, there's a lot of products that Dell Technology can offer in that perspective. Um, one of their latest product sets is, is called the Power Store. Uh, it's, it's sort of a bit of a game changer in the way they've developed it. They've developed a solution, a story solution from the ground up in order to be able to, to, to make it easier to, to, um, to, to update it. It's, not, it's no longer a legacy, so legacy software and things like that. So they've really uh, embraced the containerized version of building, this, uh, building the story system up. Mm. So yes, it's still a story system that's going to require disks and you're going to have to do some form of a, a, a you're going to add more disks as you grow as you grow but the benefit is that with the solution you can start small and scale up so add more disks to the solution and scale out and add more 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 uh, more nodes within the environment to be able to provide as much storage to, to as much storage as you require and this is going from a one petabyte all the way to a four petabyte solution uh, depending on what your requirements are. Um, then over and above is once you've actually got this, this data stored, you need some form of data protection. So again, Dell Technologies have got solutions that are able to assist with their data domains as well as their uh, RDPAs, uh, uh, DP, DP units. Um, great solutions uh, to, to be able to, to, to keep your data and archive it. Um, it's got built-in cyber resilient resiliency within within the solutions as well, so you'll be able to utilize this data and make sure that your your data is protected. Tick all the boxes from a governance perspective, as you said, puppies on puppies is already yeah in essence. Uh, people have to work, you know have to tick the boxes where they where, where they need to require. If they, if you really got a solution that does those those uh, that automates that, yeah. that functionality for you, you don't have to worry about it, which. Is sort of where Dell Technologies is, is, is going to from, from a, a solution perspective. It's you don't have to keep working to keep the light on. You just need to make sure that, hey, I've got my data, it's safe, it's secure, and I tick all the boxes. Now, now, now data, when it comes to safety and reliability, is equally important. Uh, what kind of solutions do you have at Pinnacle when it comes to safety and, 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 and actually the, the importance of that data reliability, which is key? Yeah. So uh, again, uh, so from a pinnacle perspective, we've got we've got a, a, a plethora of, uh, of options that we can choose from. So even within our within our within our stack, we've got a uh, we're focusing on cyber resiliency and, cy and cyber security as such. Um, so we've got different products like Komodo. Uh, um, we've got a firewall product called Stormshield. But over and above that is that still, and uh, we're then going back into to to my patch, which is the Dell technology side of things. Dell's almost does that from an intrinsic perspective. They make uh, they they've put in the they've put in the 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 assistance to make sure that they they the hardware is coded. It doesn't uh, there's, there's no sort of uh, data leaks or security uh, holes that the guy the hackers can can go into. Um, 
then when for, uh, over and above that is within the solution itself, you've got, uh, you've got security. Um, you can basically put in uh, what they call encrypted, uh, specific encryptions and uh, um, encrypted uh, drives where all your data is encrypted. So it'll be very difficult for the guys, even if they pull out a drive to go do a, a restore of that, any of that data. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of solutions that we can, but again, it all depends on per, per the customer's requirements or, or for or what solutions the customer is really looking for. Because uh, you can start off with, hey, I just want to make sure that my data is there, um, yeah. that if, when it's, and if I lose it, I can get it back. So that's the first step. But then you'll go into a multinational company or a, a bank or something like that, where they've got important customer data. They need to make sure that it's secured and to the point where it's not going to be able to be accessed from, from outside, in essence. All right. No, it's very interesting. I mean, so, so basically, I think what, what you're saying is, I mean, at Pinnacle, you've got the entire enterprise solutions. I guess that it's, it's, it's all starts with a conversation. This is what I want and this is what you can offer me because, I mean, it sounds to me like you've got a fully comprehensive range of solutions for any customer need. Um, and you just touched on the different firewalls that you've got, for example, which is really good. Yep. Where, where do you see this all going, Ricky? I mean, the enterprise solutions in particular, um, I think this digitization drive is, is definitely here to stay and it's certainly going to uh, be a great thing for your business. Uh, enterprise solutions over the next few years, where do you see it going? Well, that's uh, it's uh, it's an interesting question because it's always like you know going to pull out a crystal ball and then start looking into it yeah. and see where where we're going. Um, as you think, you go back 10, 20 years, internet wasn't that it's, it was only getting, really getting started, but then it's blown up. Social media wasn't around in essence. Um, but going forward, so you've got different technologies, and one of the things that I can say is that it's going to become a hybrid uh, scenario, whether it's a hybrid solution from an, a, a private cloud to a public cloud offering, or even from a work work at the office to work from home. Uh, everything that, that that's almost the key word that's going to be a, that that's that's coming around is hybrid. Uh, you've got to be able to 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 move between one location to another location. Uh, your your ex, your the, you've got to provide your your workforce with access to your data, but while you're providing access to you know quick and easy access to your data for your workforce, you still got to secure it to, in such a extent that not everyone can access it. Mm. So a lot of uh, solutions from there. So cyber, cyber security and, uh, and, uh, and protection is going to be really looking at it. Uh, from a storage perspective, we're going to have 5G coming down the line. Um, well, so we're really getting a lot of mobile phones that are 5, 5G enabled, but it's the, the, the network is not there yet. Uh, once that get, goes into place, suddenly you're going to have a plethora of data coming in. You're going to need something that you're going to have to store that data on. Uh, so there's your storage. Then you've got to basically protect that storage. So you've got your data protection solution. So that's where the, 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 the driver is going to be. The, 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 the day in day compute and uh, you know, utilization of uh, sort of a server, that's sort of going to become very commoditized. Mm. It's going to be where's your data sitting. How can I access my data and can I access my data security? So that's where my, my view of where the future is going to be. Oh, it's uh, certainly quite interesting and, and very exciting. I mean, and I guess we all need to be prepared for it, but it sounds like it's uh, certainly going to speed up quite a bit when you look at that 5G connectivity that's just around the corner. And uh, and, and we, we just start uh, gathering and, and you're creating more and more data every single day. So it's going to be a very interesting journey. Ricky Pereira, who is the Enterprise Manager at Pinnacle, thank you so much for joining us on What's Next. We do appreciate your time. Cool. Thank you, Aki. Thank you for your time as well.